Let's assume we're a graduation photographer and we take lots of images of graduates and we want to have a layout where we print them out on an in half by 11 sheet of paper with a 5 by 7 photo and four wallets. And on one of the wallets in the upper right hand corner, we want to turn the picture into a grayscale or black and white image. And then the bottom, in the bottom right wallet, we're going to use a little vignette effect of applying an inner glow with some noise. It's going to be a little bit light blue just to help frame the image. So that takes some time to set that all up. But since we do lots of images, we want to set up the same layout for each of those maybe several hundred images. And that sounds like a lot of work. But using smart objects, what some people refer to as smart layers, we're going to create our layout, have these images all linked together. And all we have to do is just right click on any one of the five and replace the image. And all five will be replaced. And the effects of the black and white and the vignette will stay intact. Let's go to Photoshop and see how to do this. We will start by downloading these three images from Unsplash. I'm going to download the medium version of each one of these. They're each about 1920 by, by 2800 or 2300 uh, in size. So the medium sizes of each. And then open each into Photoshop. I'm going to start by preparing these three images for the layout. We're going to be producing a document for a printer. Most printers print a 300 to 600 DPI, depending on your inkjet or laser printer. We want these images to be 5 by 7 at their largest. So I'm going to change each of these from pixels to inches and make them 5 by 7 inches in size. That'll make it much easier for working with our layout that we're going to create. So I'm going to start with the first image. I'm going to call this Grad A. And I'm going to go to the Image menu, choose Image Size. And right now I'm working in pixels. So she, she is 1920 by 2877 pixels. I want to make sure that the proportional link is created here. So if, if you don't see that connected, make sure you click that and it's connected. I'm going to change this to inches. So right now this is a huge image at 26 by 40 inches, but it's only 72 DPI. That's usually a screen resolution. We want to do print resolution. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to do 5.5 inches because I want to crop it slightly. And the resolution, though, I want to be 300 pixels per inch. I'll click OK. Now I want to crop this a little bit and make it 5 by 7. So I'm going to take my rectangular marquee tool. On the options bar, I'm going to choose for style, fixed size. And my width will be 5 inches, 5 in. And the height, I'll type in 7 in. Now when I come in and click on my image, I see my 5 by 7 inch marquee, and I can use the arrow keys to nudge this to where I think is a good composition. I'm going to get a little bit of height above her. I'm going to bring her over a little bit to the left. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go back to the image menu and choose crop. So I'm going to save this image. I'm going to go to file, save a copy. Let's make this a JPEG. I'm going to name this Grad A. Normally, we'd probably use the person's name, but we're working with a generic image here. I'm just going to say Save. I'm going to do the same thing for my two other images. We'll name them Grad B and Grad C. So in this image, I'm simply going to go to the Image Layer, Image Menu, Image Size, make this 5.5 inches wide, change it to 300 DPI, and click OK. Again, take my rectangular marquee tool and decide how I want this to be cropped. Image, crop, and we'll save. Naming this one Grad B. And then our final image, same thing. Image. Image size, get into 5.5 inches, 300 pixels per inch, click OK, take our Tender Marquee tool, and find the area that we want to crop it to. And I'll save that one as Grad C. And these are all being JPEGs. I'm going to go ahead and close Grad C. And 
grad B. These are the originals, so I'm not going to bother to save them. And on grad A, I'll just deselect control D, control T, control D, command D on the back. All right, we're going to create a layout. And to do that, we're going to go to the file menu, new. I'm going to choose print up here at the top for my different templates. I want a letter size print, 8.5 by 11. We want to make this landscape orientation, and it's going to be 300 pixels per inch. I'll leave the background as white since we're going to, to print. I always want to try to print on white. And that way we're not wasting a lot of ink if we made this a black background. I'm going to click create. And so at the top here, I've got my grad and I've got my new untitled document. I'm going to pull the grad image down into a separate window. And I'll make my other image just a little bit bigger so I can see the pasteboard. That way I know I'm seeing all the sides of that piece of paper. We can go back to our grad. And I'm going to have the grad, the active document, seeing the layers. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to grab the layer and drag it to my document. And holding down the shift key puts her in the center. I'm going to grab her and drag her over with the move tool. And I want to leave probably about a third inch margin on the top and on the left, just to give some handling of the paper on the printer. Each printer is a little bit different, so you need to know your printer and what the areas are that requires for handling. So she now has a new layer on my in my document. I'm going to right-click on that and choose Convert to Smart Object. The Smart Objects allow me to make changes to the image without destroying the image, much like we did in adding adjustment layers. But here's the cool thing with the Smart Object. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and drag. And this is true of any layer. You can Alt, drag, and create a new layer. And then with this new image, I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale, and I want to go from 5 by 7 to 2.5 by 3.5, which is actually 50% size. That's the wallet size. So in the Options bar, I'm simply going to change this to 50%. And again, with these linked, I can do width or height, and the other will do accordingly. If it's not linked, this little chain link in between, you can type in measurements for each of those. I'm going to press Enter. And now with the move tool, I'm simply going to move this wallet size in place. I'm going to leave a little bit of distance between them. We're going to put a little black border around this so that when we cut, there's kind of a safe area that we won't see white pixels. Let's name these layers. This is five by seven. And we'll call this one wallet one. Hold down the alt key, drag, create another copy. We'll name that one Wallet2. We're going to take the Wallet1 image, drag down, holding down the Alt key. Want to get these well aligned. This one's going to be Wallet3. I'm going to drag it up in my Layers panel just a little bit. I'll take that image. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, and a little tip here, and that way when we drag, it's, it stays aligned in the direction that we drag, and just get it aligned with the one at the top. And this one will be Wallet 4. Now these are all smart layers, or smart objects, because we duplicated a smart object. And that's going to be really important. Let's take our Wallet 2 image up here at the top. I'm going to select that in the Layers panel. Let's go to the Image menu, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And all I'm going to do here is take the saturation all the way down so it becomes a black and white image. We might bring the, the lightness up just a little bit. We can use another adjustment such as black and white. Probably do a better job. But just in this quick demo, I just want to show you we're going to take this, make it a black and white image and drain the color. I'm going to say OK. On wallet four, we're going to add a layer style. 
And the layer style I want is Inner Glow. And for the Inner Glow, I'm going to choose a light blue color. You can play around with the opacity, the noise, the choke, and the size. I use 66 and 27. So I want it to be kind of a looking out of a window where there's some snow accumulated on the window's edge. So those are my settings. I'm going to click OK. And there is our document we're going to print out. Now, let's, let's save this. Let's go to File, Save As, or Save. We're going to name this D03 Grad Layout Template. I'm going to click Save. Now I want to save this out as a JPEG with these images. I'm going to the File menu, save a copy. And this time I want a JPEG. And we'll leave this as Grad Layout. I'm just going to say A. Let's make it DO3 Grad A. Remember it's a JPEG. That's going to compress everything into one layer. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to choose 8 as the quality. Now, if you're a professional photographer, you probably want quality all the way to large, to, to 12. This will make the image a little bit smaller for our purposes. We'll take up as much space when you upload your assignment. Okay, now we want to bring in our other grads. So I'm going to come down to the 5 by 7 but you can do any of these wallets as well. I'm going to right click on that layer and I'm going to choose Replace Contents. I'm going to find that Grad B JPEG that we saved. I'm just going to say Place. And we can see the little circle going here. It's processing. It's bringing that image in and it's going to replace that 5x7 with that new image, but because the other layers are linked, it replaces all of them. It knows it retains our effect of the inner glow in the bottom right and our black and white image in the top right. I'm going to go to the File menu, choose Save a Copy, and this one's going to be DO3 Grad B, but I want to save it as a JPEG. And we'll click Save. I'm going to knock this down a little bit smaller in size and less quality just for the purposes of our assignment. Let's make it a 7. That'll make the file, this, the file even a little bit smaller. And then once again, I'm going to right click on any of those images. I'm going to take the wallet 3 this time and choose Replace Contents. Let's find our Grad C and Place. And there she is. All we're going to do is go to the File menu, choose Save a Copy, make it a JPEG, and we'll name this one Grad DO3 Grad C. And now we have our template document as a as a Photoshop document, and then our three exported JPEGs, one for each of the three different graduates. If you'd like to see more videos in the Photoshop Practicum playlist, click the title at the bottom. If you'd like to be alerted to new videos, please click my photo in the top right to subscribe to the channel.